Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be doing something more girly and more makeup related, and that is my everyday makeup look. I am going to a concert tonight, so I was getting ready and I figured let me just film this because I'm just gonna go with like my everyday wear. This is like what I wear to work, and this is like my go-to makeup. It honestly, I can do this like in under 10 minutes. Um, I don't use that much product. It's like one eyeshadow, one blush, one, conceal one concealer, one powder and like that's it like i'm not mixing and matching different products and i literally wear this every single day so i hope you guys enjoy this video i will link everything down below and this is a talk through tutorial so i apologize my windows open and i apologize if like you can hear cars driving by or anything like that i'm going to see sam hunt tonight and i'm so freaking excited i love sam hunt like i have oddly got into country lately and it's like okay i wouldn't say country i'm i have dabbled into like pop country because I don't do like dirt on my boots like I don't do that stuff but I respect it but I love Sam Hunt because he's like more R&B ish for me and I'm an R&B girl like from start to finish but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will link everything down below subscribe to my channel thumb it up and I will see you guys in my next one bye so if I'm looking over here it's because I have a mirror so I already moisturized with my pawns uh, I'm not sure what exactly it's called but it's like the blue top ponds facial moisturizer i feel like they really only have like one or two so it shouldn't be hard to find so i moisturize with that i'm gonna go in now with my becca first light priming filter instant complexion refresh primer so this is purple i know it looks weird but it's actually supposed to like brighten up dull skin and just give you like an overall luminous glow this is like a recent pickup for me so i haven't really used it that much but from what i've seen um i really like it it smells like lemons, so I'm gonna go in and put that all over my face. See that dewiness? Yeah, girl. More boy. Yeah, y'all is what I should say. Because dudes do their makeup too. I gotta switch my CD. Oh my god, I'd be like the worst person in meditation class. I can't sit like with my legs crossed like that for very long. That's why I hated going to temple when I was little. So now I'm gonna go in and quickly color correct. I typically do this every day, but it's like, it's really not that much. Like I'll put on a little bit here and a little bit just under my under eye circles and then I'll pat it in with my finger. I don't like to like draw massive lines on, but I just like to get a little bit of color on there to take away the dark circles that I will always have. I can't ever get rid of them. I've actually started to learn to love them. I know it's crazy. My LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. And this is the orange corrector. So now I'm gonna go in with my literal like all time favorite concealer. I really freaking love this concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. It is so good for like brightening. It's pretty heavy duty. Um, and if you're not looking for, if you're looking to spot conceal, maybe this isn't like the right thing for you. But if you have like under eye circles and you're just looking to conceal like the, air, the areas underneath your eyes and just brighten up, then I think that this would be actually really good for you. This is the color Tan Sand, and I wear Tan Sand in the summertime, and I wear this one over here, you'll see like those small difference. This one over here is um, just tan, so I wear that in the wintertime. And then once I get a little tan, I put on the Tan Sand. And I'm going to place this all over my under eyes, like that. I know it's a lot, but it's just so good. And this stuff actually smells really good too but the trick with this concealer is actually just to let it sit because it's so thick i do this because the concealer actually works like double time if you let it dry a little bit um, and that way you're not like moving all the product around you'll get the most bang for your buck if you let it dry like a minute or so i'm just gonna go in quickly with my brow wiz pencil by anastasia beverly hills this is in the shade ebony i'm just gonna give my eyes a quick fill nothing aggressive well, I say that, and then I come out looking like that Hollister, um, the girl with the Hollister eyebrows. Oh God. But you know what? If she liked them, rock on with your bad self, girl. I always get this weird patch of like hair right here that just doesn't want to grow in. Sometimes I think, you know what, Kavita? Why don't you just like give it a six month rest and just let like, these things like grow out a while before you touch them? But then I get to like month one and a half and I'm like, my mom always tells me to sit up straight and I never do. She'll like text me with a C, which stands for Charlie, because she's like, your back is like a C, or you're like hunched over like a Charlie. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I like looking like that. Maybe I like it. And then she's always like, do you really? And I'm like, no, I look crazy. I'm like, she's call me Q, not C. 
So now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go in and actually blend this stuff out. So this is my little Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And you're gonna see like it doesn't move that much, but like you'll be able to blend out any harsh edges. And I like that because then I feel like I don't have to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder. Um, it's just one less thing that I have to like pick up in the morning. And I can just set this with like, um, a t like a normal Studio Fix powder. And you're gonna see like, doesn't that brighten up this area like crazy? It brightens it up so much. Um, I just use whatever is left on my blender and I'll just dab. I'll dab. I can't believe I just did that. I'm gonna cut that part out. Dabbing is dead. Although Rihanna dabbed at the NBA Finals, so if Rihanna does it, then it's not dead. Okay, so now for a simple like eye look. I typically don't like to get all fancy like in my everyday because ain't nobody got time for that. Your girl has to get to Dunkin' Donuts to get her coffee before work. So I just like, like to keep it super simple. So I use this palette, which I love. This is the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen. I don't think that they sell this anymore, but I will find a dupe and I will link it below because what I like to do is this is actually their cheek color. It's called, does this thing really work? And it's this guy right here. And it's honestly like supposed to be a blush, but I use it as an eyeshadow because it's super like, it's like soft pink, but not like in a pink eye, Way. I'm just gonna take my Elizabeth Mott blending brush and just literally like there's nothing fancy about this I just pick up the color blow off any excess close my eye and just give myself a light wash And I also think that the colors in this palette smell so good. They smell amazing. They smell amazing And it has like this really beautiful sparkle like undertone that I think is so pretty for um, darker skin because a lot of times, like, darker skin looks will be so matte, you know? Like, it'll be the right color, but it'll just look so matte. And then sometimes if you're wearing, like, more shimmery shadows during the daytime, like, depending on if your face, like, your face makeup gets um, stale throughout the course of the day. And then, like, you'll be walking around at, like, 4 p.m. with, like, makeup that needs a refresh. And then, but your eyes are, like, popping, you know? So I just like a nice in-between mix. Like, something that's very natural and, like, warm that has a little bit of pop to it. So I don't look crazy. So this whole palette is just gorgeous. So I'll find a dupe and I'll link it below. But if you do have this palette, definitely give this color a go. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my Studio Fix MAC uh, powder. And I wear the shade NC42. I freaking love this powder. So I'm just gonna go in with my Soho, it's like a kabuki brush kind of. And I just pick up some product. And I'm just gonna run this all over my face. I don't typically like to wear foundation. Um, in the summertime just because my face sweats and I'm like a sweat box. Ew. I love it. I just love this powder. So good. I've been using it since high school. Shout out to my mom for putting me on. And then to set the under eyes, I'm gonna go back in with the same powder, except I'm just gonna take like a flatter brush like this. This is so old. I got this from my cousin in the UK, like literally when I was 16. Um, but I just use a flat brush like this and that just allows me to get right in to the nook and crannies and I just pat. Because again, I don't want to move that concealer. I just want to set it. The other place that I will run this is like right underneath my eyebrow. Next, I'm going to take my Japanesque. This is actually blush. It's called Velvet Touch. I use this as like half blush, half bronzer, depending on the time of year. Lately, I've been using it as a, as a bronzer. As a bronzer. As a bronzer because it is darker. And when I get a tan, I can actually like... Probably by the time August comes around, I will be using this as a blush, but I freaking love this stuff. I'm gonna take a Luxe blush brush and pick up some product. And blush I would typically put here, but this I'm just gonna like, I'm not gonna put it in the bronzer zone, but like right in between. Don't see how pretty that is? It just warms you up and so pretty. Like I love this stuff. I'll throw some on my forehead. Keep it even, keep it fresh. And then I'll just throw some down here on my dot line. My foot is asleep. Come on. Switching positions, switching positions. So before I do mascara and set this makeup look, I'm gonna go in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz. Again, it's dark. I like it because it's more natural. Like I like a highlight that is, I don't like when you can see the highlight. I like it to be like very, very natural looking. And so for this, this is like the closest to my skin tone. Am I in focus right now? <gasps> Am I not in focus? I'm gonna take this with my Luxe 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush and I'm just gonna pick up some prod and I'm just gonna run this over. Like that looks very natural to me. I also like to run it down my nose. Give it a nice little 
glow over the top of my lip too get that frosty look this and then with this i like to take a little um dome eyeshadow brush it doesn't have to be like this specifically anything will work even a q-tip will, will work with this and i like to pick a little bit up and then run it right underneath my brow and i just think that that ties the look completely together so it looks like you're getting it from two spots not just your little so now i'm gonna do mascara i'm just gonna go in and curl my lashes i like to double up on my mascaras because i don't like to wear falsies really i so this is the waterproof luminous carbon black um, l'oreal mascara i love this stuff i've used it for years so i'm just gonna go in with my first coat and lash these babies a little bit on the bottom too And then I'm gonna take the IT Superhero Mascara, which I freaking love, and I'm just gonna use this on my top lashes just to get some extra volume in there. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to just give like, I'm not gonna wear lipstick today, I'm just gonna wear a little gloss. And I actually have been loving Sephora's lip gloss line. It's like these little tubes, and this is the shade Girl on Fire. I'm a gloss girl, like I love lipsticks, I really do. But during the daytime, I am 100% a gloss girl. I just think it's fresh and it's like one less thing I have to worry about. And Sephora has a really good range of colors and um, they're super pigmented, which I love. And they're not sticky, like I hate sticky glosses. And this is not sticky, this is more smooth. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is take my Makeup Forever um, Mist and Fix. I freaking love this stuff. It's an O2 Skin Complex. It'll just set your makeup, make you look dewy. Um, I know that people tend to be either in this camp or in like the Urban Decay All Nighter. I think the Urban Decay All Nighter will like stick your makeup to your face. Like your makeup is not gonna go anywhere with that stuff. But it kind of takes away the dewiness and I really like to look dewy, so. And then I will say too, like if I'm wearing off the shoulder shirt, I also use this um, on my shoulders as well. It actually like makes a huge difference. It makes your skin look more glowy. And I've gotten compliments on it before. People are like, what lotion do you use? And I'm like, drugstore lotion. I just put this stuff on there. It's got those hacks, you know? This is literally what I wear every single day. And I can put it on in like 10 minutes. No joke, 10 minutes. If you guys have any requests, please link them down below. I'm looking for like new video ideas. I'm definitely gonna do a concealer video coming up, like my favorite concealers, because trust me, I've tried so many of them. But yes, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one.